My mother was a Sunday school teacher for 40 years when she was living. She used to always tell me, she said, God blesses you to become a blessing. Well, I didn't get it back then because I ain't had nothing. So he blessed me, what, when, mama, we ain't got nothing. She said, but one day, son, you're going to be different. I'm standing here today because I learned something. I just try to tell people some real basic stuff to succeed. You do not have to be educated to succeed. So you can quit beating yourself up about your lack of education. Education ain't in the Bible. Harvard ain't in there. UCLA ain't in there. Now, if you want to be a doctor, lawyer, scientist, dentist, you got to go to school. We understand that. If you're gifted with your hands of healing, you do that. But what about if you like me? What if you like you? What if you ain't a school person? What you going to do? Suppose you got a learning disability. Suppose you're dyslexic. Suppose you just don't get the You know, I just didn't get math. Once you got past adding, subtraction, multiplication, and division, you lose me. I don't know. I only know what I know. I learned to identify this gift of mine, and this gift has made room for me. Now, I've told you that, but here is the other thing. Once you identify your gift, you have got to write this information down. If you do not have a vision board, if you don't have a dream list, I am telling you, you are complicating your process to getting what you want in life. You're complicating it because you are missing, because maybe nobody ever told you, or maybe you don't think that it applies to you, but a simple principle of success is that it has to be written down somewhere. Oprah was on TV for 30 years talking about these vision boards. Oprah, she got a billion dollars. I'm, she has my attention. Now, like I said earlier, you don't gotta be rich to be happy. Maybe your goal is not to make a million dollars. That's cool. But maybe you just need 150,000. Maybe you just need 200,000. I'm telling you, you have to write this information down. I don't care what church you go to, synagogue, temple, mosque. If you don't write it down, chances of it happening is slim. Could that be the one thing that's holding you back? If I'm telling you this, a dude with no education, I can't read a business periodical. My head will explode. <laughs> I don't even know what they're talking about. It's not what I do. Too many times, people have you focusing on your weaknesses. You're wasting your time. You ain't got to strengthen that. Work on what you good at. If you focus on what you good at, you'll make enough money. You hire somebody to be what you ain't. I got all kind of people read numbers and contracts and all that, because I can't do it. But I hire them. Listen, man, you've got to write this information down. Let me tell you what the reason writing it down is important. Because it plants the information in your subconscious. That means write exactly what you want. Don't deviate. Be clear. If you want four cars, it's nothing wrong with wanting four cars. If you want three houses, you can have three houses. Why not? Why? Why you can't have, why you just can't get a home? What kind of God you serve where he won't give you a house? It's just a house. Somebody asked me the other day, they saw my vision board, they said, man, where your dream car at? They in the driveway. They've been marked off the vision board a long time ago. The vision boards work. I'm not bragging, I'm telling you how this works. You don't think I got all these TV shows, I ain't making no money now. I'm out here hustling and grinding, but I'm willing to work. You gotta write everything you want down. Now, if you want, like I said, you can go to school, try to get you another degree. I don't have one. I'm telling you what I did to get here. I learned a few scriptures that made some good sense to me. You have not, cause you ass not. So you mean to tell me if I just keep asking you for it and believing in it, that's one way to get it? Okay, cool. Then you tell me faith without works is dead. You tell me if I believe in you and I'm willing to work, I should have it. But I can't believe in it and don't work and I won't get it? Okay, I understand that one. And then you tell me to write the vision and make it plain? I can do this. These are things you can do today that ain't got nothing that you don't need nobody's permission to succeed. To get to God, you ain't got to check with nobody.
He, are, he available to you today. You ain't got to get cleared. His line ain't busy. You can talk to him right now. I do it all the time. That's how I got here. I'm telling you how you can get to where you're trying to go. Now, you can go get your another education if you want to. I did it without an education. I did it without nobody's money. All I did was I identified this gift. I worked. I wrote all of my visions down. I read them every morning and every night. And I instilled them in my head. And every time I met somebody, they say, hey man, what you trying to do? I would tell them one of my visions. Somebody would always say to me, you know, I know a guy that's selling them things right there. You ought to talk to him. I start scratching stuff off my vision board. My vision board is so vast now. If I showed you what was on it, you wouldn't even believe it. Because I dream so big. I want so big because the God I serve is big. He's not a small God. He's a really, really big God. He does really, really big stuff. And I expect him to do really, really big stuff for me. If somebody who had come from the bottom and got to this position I'm in told me that this is the way I would try, if I was you, I would try that. I bet you it'll work, though. Appreciate y'all.